What almost every implementation of high stakes assessments has found is that the clearer you are about what you want, the more likely you are to get it, but the less likely it is to mean anything. So what we've seen is teachers getting better and better at preparing our kids for our national curriculum tests, yes. and the scores on those are going up. They've been doing that by neglecting the things they used to teach that are tested in things like the... Whole book reading. Yes, the Pearls and the Tims and the PISA results, and those scores are going down. So we have this strange situation where some scores are going up and some scores are going down. Now, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing depends on what you think yes. is good learning. Yeah. But you take the headline, don't you? You don't look at what it was actually testing, right. and that's part of the problem, isn't it? But our kids are getting better and better at a smaller and narrower and narrower range of things. And my worry is that we cannot predict the world that our young people mm. will, will enter, in the, either as consumers, as citizens, or as, or as employees. Mm. And therefore, my worry is that we're pushing them to become more and more expert at the 19th century skills, and we're yes. not developing the skills. And, and, and I think Seymour Papert said it best. He said there's only one 21st century skill, and that is the ability to act intelligently when you're faced with something that you've never seen before. Yeah, that ability to change, to that, master change. That, that ability to think and to, to be smart in the face of new situations. Mm. And my worry is that we're actually encouraging the wrong kinds of focus in mm. our schools. Mm. By, by these narrow, content-driven, rote recall tests. 